Hi there. I am representing WebTrackOfficial.com. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at WebTrackOfficial.com. In this video I am going to show you, how to protect your website from hackers. Also I am going to show you how you can scan your website for malware, and add a site lock to your website. So let me show you how to secure your website. So first you need to install a plugin, so hover on plugins and click on add new. Now search for iTheme security. This is the plugin which is going to help us in protecting website. So click install. Now click activate. Once it's activated, scroll down to installed plugin and click on settings. Alright, now you need to configure some settings in order to protect your website. So first you need to choose your website's type. I am gonna select e-commerce since it's e-commerce. Now choose, for whom you are securing this website. Is it for yourself or your client? It's my client website so I am gonna select, for client. Now if you are setting up iTheme security for a client, it will ask you to select, which users are your clients. Identifying your clients allow you to control their access to things like security settings. Now from the drop down, choose the user. Since I am handling their website, so I am gonna select admin. Now click on next. Very important step, now enable this option if your client can access this iTheme security settings. In my case, I am handling their website, so I am gonna enable it, but in your case it might be different. So choose wisely. Click next. Now choose the user roles for your customers. When someone registers to your website, what user role you want to assign them. Select the subscriber and customer user role, because users with the subscriber and customer user roles have limited access to the website. Click Next. Now you need to choose if you want to secure your customer accounts with password policy. Now what is password policy? Password policy means, enforce strong password for the users which hasn't already been compromised. User will be forced to create strong password. So enable this option. I am skipping it for now. Click Next. Now you need to choose some security features that you would like to enable like, two-factor authentication, network brute force and stuff like that. First enable this two-factor authentication option. Two-factor authentication option greatly increases the security of your WordPress user account by requiring additional information beyond username and password in order to log in. Enable it and click lock out tab. Now enable these both options. Local brute force and network brute force. Local brute force method will protect your website from attackers that try to randomly guess login details to your site. And what this network brute force method will do. Any other site that is running iTheme security and is connected to this network, if that website gets hacked by a hacker, it will notify all the other sites that are on this network so that they can be protected. So I would suggest you to enable it. And this is a premium feature. Now just click next. Next again. And again. Now what you need to do, create user groups to enable security features for a specific set of users. If you select default, it will automatically categorize your users by their WordPress capabilities and enable recommended settings for them. So I am gonna select default. Now here you need to configure the security settings for each user role. For clients, I am gonna enable strong password. And I am gonna enable, refuse compromised passwords. Click Next. Now same for the security members. I am gonna enable these both again. Click Next. You need to configure all these settings for all user roles. So configure them the way you want. I will keep the default settings for now. Now based on the security features you enabled while setting up, you need to configure your site according to that. So click on configure. Now just scroll down and click next. 
Now here you need to enter in your email for the network brute protection notification in case other sites on this network gets hacked. So I highly recommend that. Click next. Now here you need to set a default recipient for any admin facing notifications. Set it to all administrator users. Click continue. Now just review your settings here and click on secure site button. Now click on finish. And congratulations, your site is now fully secured. Now just scroll down and click on dashboard. Now here is your dashboard where you can keep track of your website and monitor it. Now to scan your website. Under site scans, click scan now. It will scan your website in detail to look for any malware. Here you can see, it's all clear. Also you can monitor your incorrect login attempts. Later you can block their IP address for security. So that was how you can protect your website from hacker. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.